All right, everybody, welcome to the Mr. Maple Show. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We're kind of going around talking to everybody. We're uh, pulling orders this morning, pulling orders. getting ready for shipping. Uh, let's kind of talk about some of the process that we do. Uh, as a customer, you know, in the past, I always kind of wondered what the behind the scenes was with pulling orders and picking plants and all of that. And I'm here with Sean today. And Sean, he's kind of one of our main guys that goes through and pulls for our plants for the orders. Um, so just, just tell us a little bit about that process. So we start with our pull list and we count up all our plants and see how many of what each individual plant that we need. And then we start in green, greenhouse one and we just make our way through them. And really when we look for a plant, we, we identify where the plant is, try to look for the best plant to send out. Absolutely. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool because, you know, now that I'm on this side of it, oh, yeah. you know, when we go through the greenhouses and sometimes I'm with you down here pulling orders and uh, we're always trying to pick the best looking one and, and uh, it's, it's, it's just fun to be able to kind of hand pick oh, yeah. for our customers and for oh, ourselves yeah. too. Oh yeah. So just the other day we were talking and I told you about the current Ijishi. Oh yeah. And uh, I think you wound up taking one of those home. I ended up taking one home. <laughs> yeah. Already starting to leaf out. Nice. So uh, I already got a shishi. Yeah. So I'm really interested to see the two of them side by side. Yeah. Yeah. So you got the green line head and the red line head. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Very cool. But yeah, so I'm going to be going around the nursery today, just kind of talking to everybody about different parts of what we do on shipping days. And uh, it's starting to ramp up here at Mr. Maple. Yes. I think we're, yep. we're getting into the busy season very soon. There's a few things in the greenhouses starting to leaf out. So It'll be a little easier to, you know, find things. I think. Oh, you know, well, we actually, to... uh, we've gotten really used to looking at the, the right. structure and, yeah. and color of bark and all that stuff. Exactly. So you know, it really uh, does help you learn a lot about the different does. cultivars because you start to know them by their structure, bark color. Absolutely. And then, and then you throw the leaves on top of that, and you still really start to understand Absolutely. each plant and how they're different. And uh, so, anyway, we'll uh, check with you guys here in a little bit. All right guys, so here we are. We're gonna talk with Jess for a little bit about this part of the shipping. Uh, once we pull the orders and bring them up top here, uh, this is kind of the next stage for the shipping process. So Jess, tell us a little bit about what you do. So after we've pulled everything from down low, uh, we've bagged everything so the dirt doesn't fall out in your box as you get it. Um, it's then put into our very complicated system over here that you can see it's all alphabetized, which you might not be able to, but Everything's alphabetized by post. We line them all up here in alphabetical order so that we can then take them to the boxes that have been pre-written for us by one of us yeah. in, the, in the field. Uh, we write out your name, your order number, and what is on each order. So after this has been you know, set out here, we then take it into the shipping shed, organize it onto the boxes, um, be it a small one gallon box or the big giant long boxes, whatever it may be. So it's usually either one of us that goes through and checks and makes sure that all the trees that are on that box are go with that correct order. And what's really cool is our box system here, each box is really made for your order specifically. So if, you, if you're ordering a three gallon and a couple of smalls, you, we've got that box set up exactly the way 
for all your plants to fit in properly where they're not getting damaged in shipping. So it's a really cool process and I'm glad we have a lot of these checks and balances like you were saying yeah. to make sure yeah. that we get everything in the right box. Everything's put into place where, you know, when you get your, hand, your plants, they're healthy. And uh, we hope you guys enjoyed this little segment. We're going to keep shooting them for the rest of the day, just kind of show you through the shipping process. Thanks, Jess. You got it. All right, so as I said, today we're kind of going around talking to everybody about the different uh, sections uh, and parts that we do here for the shipping at Mr. Maple. And uh, today I'm, I'm here with Zeb. And Zeb's kind of like the guy we count on when it comes crunch time on shipping, getting everything into the FedEx trailer, getting labels on the boxes, making sure everything's good. So Zeb, tell me just a little bit about what you do and, and your well, process. Good, uh, what I do is gotta get all the boxes labeled. So once we get all the boxes in the trailer, I've got to go and print labels for every single one of those boxes, the address, the weight, make sure, I, you know, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this is just kind of another step in the process here. Um, once we get these in here, we, we, they come and pick up this trailer and then we ship them out to you guys. So we hope you guys enjoy the plants that you're receiving. And Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Mr. Maple Show today. Uh, right now I'm standing in one of our newest greenhouses. We've got a bunch of beautiful azaleas in here, the flowers are starting to bloom, spring is in the air, and the shipping season is starting to gear up. So we thought we'd share a little bit more about our shipping process here at Mr. Maple. And of course, all of this is because of you guys. So we appreciate the support and thanks for watching. God bless.